Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and today I am reviewing the Polaroid Retro Wireless Speaker. I bought this radio for $20 plus tax at Family Dollar. It includes Bluetooth, Bass Boost, FM radio, and it's rechargeable. So here is the front of the box right here. Uh, they designed it pretty good. Uh, picture of the radio on the front. Uh, the side of the package here. The other side of the package here. With another picture of the radio. And then in the back, it has the features. I'll go over them with you while you pause and read. That as picture radio here. Rechargeable and portable speaker. Which means you don't have to worry about putting batteries in this as its own rechargeable battery. Choose wireless or wired listening. Either through the built-in Bluetooth for wireless listening. Or plug in the auxiliary cable for wired listening. It has FM radio. You can select between 80 to 108. Although I can get 87.75 WNYZ LP. New York City, so it does go below 88. You can stream music via built-in Bluetooth. So, what I'm going to do is take the contents out. Take the bag and the styrofoam out. Here's the radio here. It has a micro USB charging cable here. And a user's manual here. The model number, by the way, is PBT 533. So I'll put that to the side. And here's the radio. Now, the dimensions on this radio is 7.5 inches in length, 5 inches in height, and 3.5 inches in depth without the handle. Now, with the handle, which is right up here, it goes both forward and backwards. The height would make it 6.5 inches, while the depth would be 4 inches. So, yeah, it has this nice handle you can carry up and down here um, it has a tuning knob here very smooth a little too smooth in my opinion the volume wheel or volume knob is here um, not quite as smooth I think this is more suitable this should have been the volume wheel here actually this to me is a little too smooth two and a half inch speaker on the front and it's basically black and silver treatment here. The rest of the rail is mostly of a white treatment here. Plastic. You can feel it there. The handle's up here. Now, the top of the radio is here. I'll show you the sides briefly. And the back of the radio, you have your 13 and a half inch antenna here. On-off switch here, auxiliary input here, DC 5 volt jack here, and a mode button here to switch between the radio and Bluetooth. So, what I'm going to do right now is put the antenna up and start tuning around the FM band, but before I do that... What I wanted to do is give you a size comparison of couple radios. This is the Polaroid AM FM radio. It's a portable pocket radio. It's shorter than uh, the radio, so you can practically fit this pocket radio here. I bought this a couple years back. And I'll show you another radio, the Texan PL606. A little bit bigger, but still small compared to this uh, Polaroid wireless retro speaker. 
And now I'm going to start tuning. Now the switch is right here. I'll turn it on. And it makes this noise. And it defaults to FM radio when you turn it on, by the way. <laughs> 87.75 WNYZLP New York City. That is the audio of TV Channel 6. <laughs> Peter, Thank in you, Brooklyn, he says, swell show, guys. Este hombro son las lesiones más comunes si ha sufrido una lesión en el trabajo o That might be 92.7. Let me check. That is WQBU, 92.7 K Buena, Garden City, New York. That's between 20 and 30 miles away. Próximo auto, no importa si tienes mal crédito o nada de crédito, no hay problema, solamente... En un concierto privado, solo para oyentes... A little tough so to focused tune. on their tiny personal actions that they miss the fact that they're part of a system that keeps people down based on race and class. And that is, is am I understanding that correctly? I think you just said it better. WNYC FM, New York City, 93.9. They also have a sister station on 8 20 a.m. You know, a racist individual get what actual change. <laughs> en un pago mensual más bajo detener el acoso de sus acreedores si tiene dificultades para hacer pagos mínimos o está pensando en declararse en quiebra, llame a Soluciones de Deuda ahora, para calificar debe tener al menos 5 mil dólares en deudas de tarjetas de crédito WXMYFM, New York City uh, Like is 96.3 Libre de deudas. Llame ahora al 800. Maybe this isn't going to get drawn out that far ahead, you know, months and months from now, but those are kind of thoughts that are in my head as well. Well, something to think about, David. There's no question about it. And it means that uh, for your son and for parents of situa in the same situation that have kids who, who love to play in high school, WEPN, 98.7 ESPN, New York City. We're trying to make it into the school that God works. The songs you and your family love. And the stories that uplift you. God uses you and the star community to help New York and New Jersey shine bright. Between you and your family. WAWC Wow, I got call letters too. 99.1 WAWZ, Zarafaf, New Jersey. That's about 30 to 35 miles from here. Star 99.1. Uh. Browning on 100.7 WHUD. Here's to the world. WHUD 100.7, Peekskill, New York. That's about 30 miles from here, approximately. Toast to the ones in the day. Toast to the ones that... be feasible to air that tournament in its entirety the way that you would this year's tournament because I don't know if enough people would care to see whatever year that you pick. Then you could run a special and relive the greatest moments from tournaments over the years. That would be cool. But again, you're talking about an hour, maybe two hour special. You're not talking about film. WFAN-FM, New York City, Sports Radio 66 and 101.9, The Fan. 
It just thinks that we don't have it. This to you, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 30, 35. For whosoever findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. W272DX, New York City, uh, although the transmitter is only a couple miles away from me from the on the other side of my town, Clifton, New Jersey. Yeah, well, first of all, it's not men. that They hate God. They hate God. Don't want to Since they're Skechers, you know they're going to be comfortable with Skechers' exclusive air-cooled memory foam. Find your new pair of Skechers safety toe and slip-resistant work shoes at a Skechers store, at Skechers.com, or wherever work shoes are sold. This is Jay Farner, CEO of Quicken Loans, and we want to help your house feel more like a home with some of the lowest reef... WBLS 107.5 New York City. Reduce their rate. You may be able to save money on your monthly mortgage payment right... And that is all for the FM. Um, not bad, the FM radio. This isn't the best spot to get radio. It's not bad at all, actually. Um, the problem is this dial, I think it's just a little too smooth. A little too smooth. So you got to be careful tuning this. There's such a thing as a dial, as a knob that may be a little too smooth. But that's okay. Um, it's not a bad performer. I was actually able to get about 43 radio stations uh, from my FM reception report. So it's not a bad performance. 36 had good signals, 7 had weak signals. The problem with this DSP dial is you have to be slow and careful, and sometimes you may miss a station here or there if the previous station is a little too strong. So the implementation is in this DSP is not the greatest, but uh, it's not bad. Not a bad at all. It does get stations, so... To me, it's pretty much an average FM receiver. But let's go to the uh, Bluetooth next. And I just want to make sure it's connected. But I have to remember um, to turn on the mode button. I have to turn on this button. It'll switch over to Bluetooth. Yep, here it is. It's connected. PBT 533. So what I'm going to do right now is play a song off the YouTube Audio Library. That's a little sample of the audio there. It sounds pretty good, even for a radio that does not have tone control or bass control. Uh, pretty good sound to it, in my opinion. But what I'm going to do next is plug in an auxiliary cable. And I believe it switches over automatically to auxiliary. Yep, it does. So... What I'm going to do, now that I plugged it in, I wanted to make sure I had the same volume via the wire connection here.
Same song. And that is all for that. So, I'm just going to unplug my auxiliary cable here. And that is it. My final thoughts on this radio um, has a very good audio to it. I think the Bluetooth and the auxiliary cable, you know, listening via those connections um, sound very good despite there's no separate controls for it. So, sounds good. The FM radio could be a little better, but it's not a bad DSP and it can get stations. Not real faint ones, but it can get both strong and weak stations. A little bit weaker stations, so it's not a bad as far as reception on this DSP radio is concerned. You just have to be very careful tuning. That's kind of a flaw with these analog display DSP radios. As far as a rating is concerned, I'm going to give this... I'll give it a 6 out of 10. I feel it's overall a pretty average radio. So have a good week, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video, and God bless. Bye-bye.